I've been here ever since about four or five years old. I joined St. Philip on January the 22nd, 1969. I married into the Moravian family. And I moved in 96, so that's when I came here. St. Philip's Moravian Church is rich in history. Founded in 1822, St. Philip's is the oldest African-American church in the state. And if these walls could talk, the stories they could tell, rich in historical significance. The church is located inside of Old Salem and still has the rows of original pews. In the church's early days, these dividers would separate married men and women with single men and women. I think about it now, I said, now I wonder which one of these pews that people were sitting on when the man told them that they was free, weren't slaves anymore. It was in these pews in 1865 where church members learned from Union soldiers that slaves were free. I can almost feel the people and the uh, jubilation that they must have experienced. And I can, see the choir used to sit over there and I can just kind of feel maybe the vibration of the floorboards that they were probably going on when that was announced. We didn't have no air conditioning, none of, none of the modern conveniences. It basically looked the same inside and outside. Faye Joyner is one of the eldest members of the church. She recalls countless memories built at St. Philip's over many decades, dating back to the days when she and her siblings came to church on Sunday afternoons. Her brothers even starting the fire inside of these old iron stoves that once warmed the building. My most favorite thing is when we have the candlelight service and the love feast and it's just a lot of warm fellowship at this church. We don't have a whole lot of members, but we are a very good family. It's funny, the old people don't know about this church. She would tell you that. The old Moravians, the women, Mor Moravians from home church and so forth, they're now learning about this church, that it's a black church. Long before these bricks came together in what would be St. Philip's Moravian Church, services were held in homes, eventually growing as more African-American slaves started coming to church. Conrad Mitchell has attended the church for nearly two decades. He's also shared the history of this building and what it means for this community to children and adults alike for many years. What you have now is kids that were once small bringing their grandparents to this place. So that's how a lot of them are learning about the Moravians. The kids knew it before because they knew the school bring them here. St. Philip's also opened one of the first daycares in Salem. Which was a big, big deal at St. Philip's. We had a very nice daycare there uh, for many years. The daycare marked a new milestone in the local African-American community. The daycare, in addition to the lessons taught each week during Sunday school, helped to shape the minds of many generations of children. At that particular time, I'd have been the only black daycare and the home church had started it. And then finally they put it totally in the hand of St. Phillips. And several generations of kids in Winston-Salem went through that daycare program. Richard Jackson has worn many hats for the church over the years, including leading local scouts. The, the Boy Scout troop there had that. As a matter of fact, I got two uh, Eagle Scouts out of that troop. This year will mark the church's 200th anniversary, carrying on a rich history that members like Dorothy Pettis hope will continue for generations to come. I would love um, more people to, you know, maybe come and visit and see what the Moravian service is about and, and know our history here in, in Winston. St. Philip's Moravian Church is located inside Old Salem. A historical marker highlighting the church's early days has also been installed on Broad Street. You can learn more about the church and their rich history on their Facebook page. For the City of Winston-Salem, I'm Daniel Cruz.